Hey guys, it's Nick with HVACB. Uh, I'm out here at a customer's house right now. They just called saying they were having some drainage issues. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through how I figured out what's going on and how I'm gonna get taken care of and get them fixed properly. Alrighty, so I'm here at the system. Uh, obviously we've got some water on the ground, so they definitely are having some drainage issues. Um, so I'm gonna follow the drain line first, check it out, see what's going on with it. So it comes around here behind the water heater, then it goes down and then it goes back up and out the house. So when they installed this drain line, they didn't want it to be in, way, in the way of the door. Um, so they installed basically what's essentially a four foot long P-trap. That is what is fully clogged up of dirt, debris, rust, anything that comes off that coil down that drain line. Um, so what I'm gonna do to fix it properly, instead of just replacing this section of clogged PVC, I'm gonna fix it permanently for them. And I'm gonna cut it here, uh, install a barb fitting uh, adapter. I'm gonna run pump tubing all the way up and over. And I'm going to install a condensate pump right there. That way the drain goes down into the condensate pump and it pumps it all the way up and out and goes out no problem. Won't be in the way of their door and their drainage issue will be fixed and that will not clog up again because it won't be there. Now we got our pump tubing coming up here, running up there, running up there along the line set, coming over, coming down, and then going into our barb fitting right there. That is glued to the drain that goes outside. This way it'll pump water down into here and it'll all flow out. I'm all finished up. Uh, now I'm going to show you what I did. We're going to test everything and we'll make sure the customer's good to go and it's going to have no more water issues, no more drainage issues. We've got our drain. Comes down here, goes into the pump. Got it plugged in right there. These wire nuts right here, this is for our low voltage. Um, this is what breaks the power to the thermostat if this pump were to ever go bad. It has a float inside here and this is splicing the power wire to the thermostat from the control board. And if this float ever gets up, it cuts off power. Uh, because the pump's not pumping out the water and won't allow the thermostat to operate the equipment, preventing any water damage or any overflowing. Last but not least, I'm gonna test our pump. Make sure it turns on, make sure everything's good to go and no more water leaks. cycled perfectly so last but not least I'm gonna put some of these treatment tablets in there keep any algae or biological growth from building up 